well. All these white tag calves I raised as bottle calves last summer. Uh, these green tags my uncle raised. So, doing pretty good. These are, uh, these are finished. They, uh, have done well. I believe they're 14 months old. We'll walk over here to the poop barn. Kind of a soupy mess walking over here, but it's got two inches of rain, so it's to be expected. Surprising how much these things actually poop when they don't eat that much hay. I bought all these, they were 360 pounds uh, back in September. So they're all, they're all finished. Well, they're getting sold, let's put it that way. So uh, they've done well. Uh, if there's one bit of advice I give all of you I know quite a few of you like to watch my bottle calf stuff. Probably have some more of that this summer, but number one is ammonia in the barn. If you lay down there on the ground and you don't like it, they don't like it. We got sawdust in here. Keep it churned up pretty good. Typically, it's been a little while since I've been in here, but keep the ammonia down. Cattle will be happy and fat. Anyway, these ain't getting any silos. They're not getting any roughage anymore. They're on total grain. And uh, if you're thinking about finishing them, you better have a whole lot of corn. Um, all our bins were full of corn last fall. And they are... Uh, Get down there pretty good. I got one empty, one's almost empty, the other one's almost empty, and the, the big bin is, we're gonna start working on it next, so. It takes a lot of corn. If you raise your own corn, it's not so bad. Uh, sounds silly, but if you can lease ground at a decent price, plant your own corn and harvest it, you'll do better than having it trucked to your place. And, uh, Trying to make a profit that way. But, um, government's supposed to give us some assistance if you sold any cattle from January 15th to April 15th, in which I did. Um, well, that's not really the big problem. For me, the big problem was last fall when we had the trade wars and last uh, November and December was pretty rough trying to make a profit with 80, 84 cent Holstein. Not, uh, not that exciting, but I tell you what, it's about like, uh, like having a bunch of pet dogs. They're, uh, they're gentle creatures. I'll uh, walk over here and show you the Angus. I don't have any small cattle to show you, so. Uh, I do, they're a different place, but <clears throat> maybe some other time. The Angus are on, uh, they're finishing now. They're on uh, slop and silage and some corn. Like I said, it's pretty sloppy, a lot needs to be scraped. About uh, twice a week, two to three times a week, you gotta scrape this, so this is a couple of days worth. But uh, they're finishing. They're a little muddy. It's to be expected. Uh, they don't have a fancy barn yet because it's still got hay in it. 
So they're doing well. We raised all these. This is one, it'd be one load right here. Like I say, we still got hay in here, so. Um, they'll be cleaned up by the time they're sold, but right now it doesn't matter what you do. It's so hot. They go out there and pee and pee and pee until they get a mud hole and they all lay in it, so. That's the way it goes. Um, this is the creepy area for the calves. Um, bucket, filling up the buckets. Used to be a old milk parlor. Stanchion barn. They didn't eat all their feed, but they come in through that hole. So. Anyway, that's kind of how everything's going. Let's kind of give you an update. Uh, wish I could fill you in on some good information, but there's nothing really, nothing that I can tell you that you can't find on the internet. So. Uh, I got this uh, stuffer last, let's see, now back in January. Uh, farm store went up there and got a couple of them and I bought a 10 foot stuffer uh, I powder my grain not completely but see if I can give you an idea this is what they like to eat this is what it looks like they do get some powder but they kind of pick what they want and uh, if you want to you can let it go completely empty and they'll eat everything so there's a little bit of waste but I'm not too concerned with it so, anyway, you can see a lot of, there's a lot of corn in there, but if I was giving them whole corn, they would pass in a lot of it. So, anyway, I'll say these are probably, I haven't weighed them, but it's time to again. I'd say they're probably a thousand pounds or better. So probably, I'm shooting for them to be uh, finished in September, depending on how hot it gets. That's not quite a load. Uh, this isn't quite a load either, but you know, some other people we can send loads out. But these are all, uh, let's see, uh, had them gaining four pounds is what we averaged uh, from baby cat or from uh, 300 pounds and up. They averaged almost 3.6 pounds the whole time. So, uh, like I said, if you want to get into finishing i would suggest you go get a nutritionist or do a lot of reading i use a nutritionist does a good job almost eight minutes and i haven't told you anything uh wheat looks pretty good it got down to 28 degrees right when it was uh had made a head uh i guess we'll find out what kind of yield damage we get that's up uh up to my belt pretty good pretty good wheat this is a uh, dino grow uh we put some caverndale out at the other farm down the road and it's almost chest high still would probably go with that there's actually some in this field because we ran out so and then over on that other field on the other side of the trees is uh dino grow also so anyway that's my pile of sawdust I used for bedding because I ran out of corn stalk bales. Uh, like I said, I plan on building a barn this fall. And it's going to be similar to this one, just wider and taller. Same length. So uh, they'll, uh, they'll have a little more area outside. But I hope it'll, hope it'll work. I'm going to try to use uh, roll up curtains. Uh, I think they call them rollomatic. I'm going to try them out, I think. This barn actually needs curtains on it. That's probably the next thing. But anyway, that's about all I have for you. Thanks for watching.